Hey everyone! Today I'm doing a really quick tutorial using the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. I mentioned this in my last video as my new favorite product for October. I picked it up last week and I just wanted to show you, give you an idea of what colors can go well together. This palette really is amazing. I mean, you can just mix up any one of these colors together and be super creative and you'll get a great outcome. I ended up using five different colors for my eyes. Um, you'll see on top I used these three colors and then on the lower lash line I went here and here. And Oh, and actually here also. So it turned out cool. I like it. It's really like a very, very diverse palette. There's so much you can do with it if you want like a subtle look to wear during the day. You can use a couple of the lighter colors if you want a really smoky, dramatic look. The colors are in there if you want something crazy and funky. It's all there. Um, the only one tip I would give is when you're picking up the shadow on the brush, just gently tap the brush after you picked up the color so it doesn't kind of go all over your face. Um, because the brush, when it picks up the shadow, it like kind of falls everywhere. So you want to be careful doing that. But I'm so happy with this palette. And this is just one of the many looks you can use with this palette. So keep watching. So let's get started, guys. For a primer, I'm using the Tart Colored Clay CC Eye Primer Stick. This will take away any darkness you have on your eyelids and really allow um, the eyeshadow colors to come through. So just blend it all over your eyelid. Next, using my Sigma blending brush, I'm going to cover the whole eyelid with the color Undone. And in the crease, I'm going to use the color DTF. For the outer corner um, of the eye, I'm going to create a V shape using the color Defy and I'm using a small brush to do that and then a large blending brush to blend it out. So just blend, blend, blend. But makeup artists always say the more you blend the better. So you see the eye already has some depth to it and just keep blending. For the lower lash line, what I'm going to do using the same small brush, I'm going to pick up the color called Heroin and kind of draw a line on the outer corner of the lower lash line. I'll leave some room on the inner corner for another color. So once you draw that line, you could, um, uh, just a tip, a side tip, when you do pick up these colors, make sure to tap the brush uh, to tap up any excess eyeshadow so it doesn't fall all over your face. So anyway, once you've drawn the line with a brush, you could take your finger and smudge it out a bit. So it doesn't look like a line, but it looks more like shadow. And for the inner corner, using another small type of brush, I'm going to pick up the color Angel. And this will just give it a nice, complete look. For our eyeliner, I'm using the MAC Liquid Eyeliner in Black, my favorite eyeliner. I always say it's the best one, and I'm going to use a brush to apply it to my top lids. Now I'm going to apply concealer under my eyes. This is also by Tarte. Um, it's called the Creaseless Concealer and I'm using it in the color light. I really, really love this concealer. Um, not only does it really not give you that, you know, crease that you sometimes get with the concealer, it really brightens up your, um, like, under eye area and you look like you've rested. I'm, I'm totally happy with this concealer right now. It's my favorite concealer. I recommend everybody gets it. They have a whole uh, collection of colors. Um, so just keep applying until you get the, the results that you want and blend in. I'm just using my fingers to do this. Zoom in a little so you could see more of my face. Um, Alright, so now for mascara, I'm going to use two mascaras as I tend to do. 
I'm going to start off with the Lancome mascara. This is new. It's a slanted brush and it's really easy to use. It's really good to use, um, especially if you're right handed and you want to do your left eye. There's just something about it. You know, there's a lot of, it helps you catch all the eyelashes because of the slanted brush and it's great for the lower lash lashes as well. The whole thing with mascara is you really want to apply more than one coat. Like As you see the way I'm doing it, I'm applying several coats. Um, the truth is I had eye makeup on right before I did this tutorial. So when I took my eye makeup off, I probably didn't do the greatest job. And I had to like go over my lashes a bunch of times because they were sticky from before. So now I'm going to cover the lower lashes. I'm sorry, I keep showing you the top of my head. I love doing mascara on the lower lashes. I think it just makes all the difference. And even if you don't have a lot of, if you don't have long or a lot of lashes, it really easy. You just take the brush and kind of, the way I'm showing in the video, just like brush it across. And the lashes will pick up the mascara. And it really makes all the difference, especially in photos. I absolutely love that, that whole look. Okay, now I'm talking a lot. Now I'm going to use the Chanel mascara that I always rave about in Prune. Um, and I'm only going to use it on the outer corner eyelashes. I'm also lining my waterline with Max Teddy eyeliner, which is a black color. And just look at the difference. Again, my hand. Okay, so I like I said, I used the prune to coat the outer corner eyelashes and the lower lashes. Um, now I'm using the Benefit Hulu Bronzer, and I'm using their brush. So I'm just going to do a really simple, like, contour bronzy look. I'm not going to go too crazy. I absolutely love this bronzer. I forgot, I used to use this for like the longest time I stopped and now I'm back into it. And you see it gave me like a nice definition. Um, now I'm going to put on some blush, MAC Mineralize. Blush on my cheeks and the apples of my cheeks. And to highlight, I'm also going to use MAC Mineralize Highlighter. And I'll list all the colors below the video. I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose and upper lip chin by the eyes. Now for the lips, I'm going to use NYX Prune Lip Liner. So just line your lip line the way you want it to be lined. And you could also use the lip liner to fill in the lips as well. Next, I'm going to use Inglot's Lip Paint Pot in number 59. It's a really nice uh, light, I guess, a light purple sheer color. I'm using a lip brush to apply it. You can use your finger, it doesn't really matter. And you see it's like a really nice sheer purple color. What I'm going to do afterwards is to get a little bit of the ombre effect for the lips. I'm going to use this light pink color I have um, by YSL. It's part of their Rogue collection. I've actually had this color for a while. It's an old color. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of the pink with the lip brush and just apply to the center of my lower and top lip. And that is going to give you that nice ombre look. Okay guys, so this completes the look. I hope you like it. I will see you later. Thank you.